hey guys it's Daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to have you join me in this tutorial in this one i want to show you exactly how you can clone a web page a landing page and then have them in wordpress literally for free using this amazing tool here called clone web x so without further ado as you can see on my screen here is clone web x which is one of my favorite tools to clone a website i've done lots of tutorials around this tool on my channel here I have the link to clone webex in the video description you can check it out too. and then you can use this tool literally for free so if you come down here you can see the pricing plan you can use this for two sites and 10 exports per month and they have monthly yearly and a lifetime plan which i find very very fantastic you can experiment with the free to see how that works but if you have some bucks to spare i'm telling you their paid plan is worth a trial so i'll just jump straight into my app so this is what the apps look like this is the project page so you can see i have uh, a number of projects here and i have wordpress.org here in your case if you're experimenting this for the first time you might just want to add a new project then add the url the name and the url of the website you want to add so that you can literally keep working on uh, a project uh, i would work with wordpress.org so as usual i just love to use wordpress.org i have it opened here already so right now you can see I have a lot of WordPress.org here. In your case, if you're using it for the very first time, it will be blank. So you want to make sure that you had their Clone WebEx Chrome extension. Uh, so you can see I have uh, literally uh, done something around the pages before. So this is the page. Let me just delete this real quick. Uh, let's delete this too as well. Okay, let's leave this three. This is fine. So now let's come back to wordpress.org so now i would go to my chrome extension here because i already have this installed and then i will select my project which is wordpress clone and then i will just click add this page so good so we now have uh, this page already mirrored in clone webex and i think this is beautiful right so we have this dialog box here by the right hand corner this is where we can select the element we want to clone on the page or maybe the entire page and also select the page builder we want to use so you can see here that we can work with elementor we can work with webflow bricks and breakdance uh, which is fantastic uh, for the purpose of this example i will just leave it at elementor uh, you would see that there is a requirement here for elementor which is for us to download and install a soft light uh, plugin so if i download that i have that downloaded into my computer here which is fantastic uh so right now we need to select what we want to clone so if you come to the page here so you can see that uh a lot of the element here is highlighting so if i click this right now i will have the option to uh, click this eye toggle here to see what i have selected uh, i can toggle that back on it's back so that is the current selector so if i come down here if i toggle this which is the parent selector i should copy the entire page so as you can see here everything on the page has been copied except for the footer here and except for the header here too as well and that's okay so i can just copy this and then i leave this elemental and then i can scroll down here and then click the export button and this has been copied to my clipboard and i think that's beautiful yeah so now uh let's go to wordpress for the purpose of this example i have a wordpress website set up here at dabstoots.com in your case if you don't have one set up uh, it's quite very easy with hostinger you should be able to set up a wordpress website in few minutes literally so you can also check the video description for you to see a link to hostinger all of these links are affiliate links uh, they are no extra cost to you as a matter of fact if you check the video description you would see my coupon code that will give you an amazing deal even for clone webex and also for hostinger so if you come down here you can just claim uh, this deal and you can just choose uh, a plan that is appropriate for you uh, just in case you don't know what plan is best for you you don't know how to get the best deal on hostinger you don't even know how to set up wordpress on hostinger uh, i have done a tutorial before around this so i will leave that uh, link in the video description so you can check out for that link that tutorial will walk you through step by step how to set up your wordpress website and also you can claim a free domain from hosting us so everything literally you need would be in that tutorial so check the video description or a link on the screen right now for you to see 
that tutorial. Uh, so that's it for Ostinga. I would close this right now. So coming back to Dabstool, I can just come to the back end of this website. I'll come to dashboard. So before we continue here, I will have to come to plugins here. I need to add a few plugins. At first will be Elementor since we are using Elementor for this tutorial. So this is Elementor here. So we're going to install this plugin. And the next one will be for us to upload the plugin and that will be the soft light plugin that we downloaded from Chrome Webex. So I will just drag this into my page here and I'll install this too as well. So I will activate this plugin. And then I'll activate Elementor too as well. So that's it. Uh, so that's uh, everything we need to do here. So I'm just going to close this. Uh, you can go all around setting up Elementor. But I don't want to do that right now. So I can just come to Pages. I can come to Add New. I can just call this home uh, for the purpose of this example. And then I'll publish this page. And then I'll edit this page with Elementor. Alright, so I have Elementor opened here. So I can just uh, come down here. Uh, come to settings and then I can come to layout here. I can make this Elementor canvas. Elementor canvas here just took away the header and the footer and it's giving us a fresh canvas here for us to work with. So right now we can just right click here and then paste from other side and then do control V. That's it. So we now have WordPress website here and I think this is beautiful. So let's open this up. Uh, so you can see here, I think this is super, super amazing. How cool is this? Uh, so right now we can just uh, literally just uh, update this page or just publish this page. That's it. So we can come back here and we can view our page. So this is literally how super easy it is for you to use Clone Webex to clone any website whatsoever. And then you can use them inside of WordPress with your preferred page builder like Elementor, uh, Briggs or Brickdance. And uh, also Gutenberg is coming. So it's a fantastic tool you should check out. Uh, so that's it. Uh, we might just want to add a little bit of settings to make this page our own page. I can just come to the back end here. Uh, let's come to dashboard here. I can come to my settings. I can come to reading. I want to use a static page as my own page and I want to set the home page here and then I want to save. That's it. So now if we come to the website right now, so dapsoup.com is loading this page as our home page. Most landing pages don't have headers and footers. Uh, designers love to keep the landing page highly optimized for conversion so they don't want to distract people. So, but in case you just want to clone a web page or maybe a single page website, you still want to use your header and footer on that single page. Maybe I should experiment with cloning the header into this page and not a site wide header. So now let's come back to Clone Web X right now and let's scroll up. Let's come to the header here. We will just try to see how we can select this header just like this. So I'll click this right now so i can check this so you can see the header is gone so this is the global header element here so i have that selected here and i have uh elemental selected here as well so i can just literally export these two as well and this has been copied also to clipboard so i can come back to my elemental page here i can just add another element here and then i can right click as usual paste from other side and then I do control V. If you are using a Mac, you should do command V respect. Good. So we have that here. So I can just literally just close this. So you have that here. So if we uh, open this up so you can see we have our header here. Isn't this super simple and beautiful? So right now you can do the same thing for your footer too as well. I don't want to waste your time, but this will be limited to this page. And then I can update this. And then we can just literally view our page. And I think this is beautiful. So that's it. That's how to use this tool. It's literally very simple to use. So you can go experiment with this tool and then have a blast cloning your web page, cloning landing pages to WordPress website. And that's my time for this tutorial. If you find this super useful give me a thumbs up if you have any issues you can just uh, let me know in the comment section i would be excited to hear from you 
and to help you as much as possible as I can. That's my time. I'll see you again. Take care.